Welcome to Puyvidal, a 13th century chateau nestled in the heart of the Charente. Join my mother, my father, my sister, my fiance, and I, an American family, as we move from New York City to California to the southwest of France. This is Dreaming of a Chateau. Bienvenue to another episode of Dreaming of a Chateau. We have so much to share with you, but we wanted to take a pause from our normal Puy doll content to share with you a very special visit we got to do to the lovely Sarah and Steve's chateau called Chateau de Saint-Germain-des-Prés. We met Sarah and Steve a year ago, almost, uh, no more than a year ago, in June, when we went to Lalande to celebrate and toast with everyone there the fact that we had made an offer on Puy Vidal and to thank them for coming to visit it for us and choose it for us, basically. When we arrived at Lalande, we recognized Sarah and Steve from the vlogs, from the Chateau Diary vlogs, and we were so excited to meet them because they were also from North America and we had been following their journey as well to going through visas and touring around Chateau and trying to close their Chateau. And they were right in the middle of it at that point. And we were sort of just at the beginning of making the offer. And from that one meeting at Lalande, we've become friends and we, we message each other often. We compare notes in terms of acclimating to France, acclimating to their Chateau and to actually get the opportunity to go and visit and see their chateau and see how much more settled they are and together and they have a vision for things it's indispensable for us to have that kind of guidance and just a friendship where we can compare notes you know share share tips share advice spend time together and just have a, a shared um sort of a shared journey together since we're both entering the Chateau ownership process around the same time. So it was absolutely lovely and we're so happy to hopefully continue this friendship for many years. We highly recommend you visit their beautiful Chateau. It's even more stunning than in their vlogs and in their photos. It's just in real life, it's just hits you like a ton of bricks, how fairy tale and beautiful it is. Every time I show up to a new chateau, I'm just amazed how you, you don't expect fully how beautiful it is. No amount of video and photo can do these places justice. All right, we hope you enjoy and until next visit. We just arrived. This is so beautiful. And we're at the magnificent chateau. Oh my god. It's just out of a storybook. It's just stunning. It has the most beautiful, beautiful lane. <gasps> beautiful. Welcome to the Chateau of the Chateau. And the lady of the Chateau. <laughs> Hello. This was our very first time at Sarah and Steve's Chateau and the lovely Steve was kind enough to give us the grand old tour of the salons, the towers, the bedrooms, the unfinished areas, while Sarah would later walk us through the grounds and the outbuildings. It was an absolutely stunning day to be touring their chateau. And here's what we saw. And we just took it out a couple weeks ago. We're thinking kind of library this side, but you can see the thickness of the walls. Right here, really, you can get the idea of how thick the walls are. So this is the original wow. the 16th century part, wow. and then the rest of the house was grafted onto it. Wow. I love this entry hall with the, like, it's the kind of square. like um, the Arc de Triomphe, kind of, like the avenues. <laughs> right, yeah. I love it. And actually, it's when when we... Sorry, tripping over you there. <laughs> I think they probably brought it from the from the UK, quite yeah. frankly, because yeah, I haven't found the same stuff. It's. Do you find it's really difficult to drill into all the brick? Yes. Here. Yeah. 
Uh, we're just shocked by this. Right? Hammer, hammer drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the right bits. Right? And the, the anchors and everything. Yeah. So then we have this terrace that we need to get. We need to sort the. Oh, it's beautiful. Out, yeah. But this is sort of our quiet little oh, private I love garden. It. Magnificent magnolia. Oh yeah, that's flowering at the moment. In college, I had a tree like this in our in our quad. Oh and yeah, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the volunteers that we've had have done an amazing job of just clearing this up. It was just yeah. a complete disaster in there. Oh really? And now it, you can at least define. Oh, plants. I remember. Sarah just said like go. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And even Nina um, dug out all of the stuff around the steps there because oh, the steps beautiful. were very difficult to see. We took a couple of trees down that were dying, essentially, or dead. Yeah, yeah. And we will get into these garden plots, but we got to get some stuff out first. So there's no point in doing, you know, the final uh, planting until we get that. <gasps> I, love I love this kitchen. kitchen. This is what we want to do at Puy Doll, is have a big oh, kitchen. Oh, 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 yeah. Big oh, kitchen with an island and a big fridge with two doors. And ice <laughs> and water. And ice and water. Steve, you're killing us. American, <laughs> uh, uh, they say. Or yes, exactly. Yeah. American. Yeah, we hadn't seen one in France, and then when we moved in, it was here. Like, <gasps> yes. It's awesome. amazing. Is this a good? Do you recommend Bosch as a oh, yeah. fridge yeah, brand? Bosch brand, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because we our, our Laundry Oh, this is out. great. You can keep an eye on this while you're cooking. Yep. Change it over. Don't skip a beat. Yeah. I love this kitchen. No, we love it. We want something big like this. And this enfilade. I love it. I know this is beautiful. Yeah, we bought this from the previous owner, actually. It's beautiful. Uh, this year we just decided it was worth keeping. It, it fits perfectly. It goes beautifully. Yeah. yeah Do you use the copper pens? Um, I've used them a couple times, but yeah, yeah I gotta get them like and things. Mm -hmm. No, they're actually are yeah, they lined? They're retinned. Yeah, yeah. Like this one particularly was all nicely retinned. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, used. it was actually a friend of ours who gave them to us the whole set. Oh, beautiful! Yes, oh very, very kind. In Canada or France? No, here actually. Oh. Yeah, someone who's uh, uh, Stephanie's patron who. You know, followed us, and she lives about an hour or so up here. So, oh, that's awesome! Yeah, oh, beautiful. she's been exceptionally generous. Oh my god, that's lovely. Generous. We need to start our copper collection, too. Oh my god, yeah, so much to do. Oh my god, Steve, it's beautiful. Everything, is, everything. We, we are still on the fence about the color in here, but then uh, Stephanie came in and said, You realize Monet's kitchen at yes, Giverny is blue and yes. blue, yellow with blue accents. Like, yes. Come on. Crap. Yeah, well, yes. There's, there's elements that you can do. The, this is like You could make it white, yeah. You could add a, yeah. But you and and you could add the the Giverny tile, the blue yes. and white yeah. all along, and it would make the yellow just feel like a contrast instead of all of it. Well, and our plan is eventually we're going to put an island in here, mm -hmm. um, probably with a uh, the sink and the hobs. And then do a yes. stack of ovens, like two or three ovens, so that we can oh, smart. cook. Chicken, yeah. vegetables. Like yeah, that. and a warming oven, yeah. maybe something like that. And then, uh, yeah, better counter space, better storage. Yeah. But there is, as you say, there's a room in here to be able to do whatever we want. So. It's like the perfect square kitchen. Yeah. Like slightly rectangular. But we can play with it to the house, you know, to the house come home, which is great. Like we have to create a room large enough. Either way, like lovely, it's just That's we're right. dying with the counter space. Oh, yeah? It's awful. Yeah, I suppose. It's like it's there's the stove, right? and then there's like this much prep space, and we're like chopping Brussels sprouts and stuff here, or we have to put it on top of the burners to chop Oh, yeah, of course. It's just... Well, we the table that's out front right now that we're going to have dinner on tonight mm -hmm. is usually here. Oh, it's, it's yeah. It's much it's longer. Like yeah. This that is, is such a luxury. Yeah, yeah. just to have the, the table in, because otherwise that we don't have any counter space at all. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it was a necessity. And then you can pull up a chair and chop away and peel. Exactly. And, yeah. yeah. We missed that. Do the fig jam. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right, so we have the butler's pantry. Oh, I love Which, this purple. Yeah, actually, this, this is my, the nice thing is, what we've done here is, because it's got lots of cabinets, this is our pantry. Oh, that's great. Um, and then great. we've got uh, porcelain in there and our um, 
white goods in the other one, mm -hmm. which is awesome to have that kind of storage. Yes. But the best part about it is we can cook in the kitchen, we can stage here, and then we can go into the dining room, which is our showpiece. And I think this is like a kitchen dining room. Yes. And then you have a formal dining room. So yeah. Hopefully, we won't disturb you. Well, we, we won't uh, reveal what's happening. Just give me a tour. I did some very good camera work so. to get around you. Yeah, it's not that. I, I, I'd like to tone it a little bit, mm. and obviously the wallpaper needs to go. But um, but I like the light green and red. I mean, yeah. Well, we're we're thinking with the new both kind of color palette, and this fits in perfectly with really that. Like yeah. yeah, yeah, that really needs to go. But yeah. check this out. Love this feature. But hey, yeah, but actually built into the paneling, so they kind of disappear into the paneling. Isn't that great? I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, we got another one over here, <laughs> and then lots of cabinetry again. Like a cabinet. <laughs> it's beautiful. We have so many things. Like, I right. really like to hide the fact that we're alcohol. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. Julia's always trying to get me to clean up our dozens and dozens of bottles with of, of wine and alcohol before the uh, the cleaning yes. week comes. Which is funny because in North America we display those things. We man. do. This is like here. This is our alcohol selection. Yeah. And they're like, size of this oak door. Oh my god. And, and honestly this is my favorite key in the house. That, oh that's a uh, shatter key. Yeah that's a shatter key. Yeah, yeah. key. Yeah. We don't have a single one that actually works. No, no. <laughs> I was saying that the um our estate agent, yeah, our estate agent, very wise woman, when we came here to see it the first time, she opened this door and we did the whole tour and she's like do you want to go close the big door and gave me this key? And I'm like, oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> like, look at that fantasy. Right? <laughs> yes. I think we'd already bought it by then, frankly, yeah. <laughs> at least in yeah. our heads. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. It's just perfect. So, come on. Shoot right here with this door. It would, it would, yeah. oh my God. This would solve it. Yeah. This is really bad. So, there's the next thing that I'll show you after. Oh my God. And then we'll go up to the second floor. I almost went to the Titanic staircase. You know, with the all okay. wood and the... <laughs> Yeah, but they're all kind of in a similar state. Yeah. So it needs to be. Right. So you have five guest rooms now. Right. Well, yeah. five including our room. Oh. Okay. So four, four plus us. But we can move so up here if we have to. We came here on a tour. <laughs> He actually stuck his head up. <laughs> the only other person that we've seen go up there is our insurance agent. Yeah. He stuck his head up and he's like, yeah, everything's great. So, uh, And I want to take this and put it back in the dining room at some yeah, point. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, like just clean it up, recondition the wood, yeah. and leave the glass yeah. the way it is. Yeah. I think it would be Stunning. so cool. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just so big. <laughs> This is our room of doom, unfortunately, is this one here. Because there was water damage. Ready for the room of doom. Let's see. Oh, oh my wow. God, so yes. Cool. You can't you can't surprise a this chateau like, owner with, <laughs> with this the room is of doom great. anymore. This is the haunted house part. Yeah. <gasps> I love it. It's a great room. Yeah. It's above our bedroom and the dining room. But obviously with the water issues, this is this is what was affected most. <laughs> But that big storm that came through, I came up here and there's not a drop. Oh, nice! It's wow, dry, completely dry up here. So we were Despite struggling. There's daylight with up there. <laughs> <laughs> noticing that. Um, yeah, no, I was very excited to see that uh, it's it stayed very dry. Yeah, Safe to walk on and everything? Uh, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> very nice. Okay. Giant rat trap. So there you go. That's our uh, second floor. I just I love it up here. I love this. This. It's paper. Wow. Yeah. It's just so pretty. But it's like a Dutch, yeah. Dutch blue. Yeah. It looks paper. like China. Yeah. Yeah. Admittedly, when we went through the house, we we came up here and it was just like, where does it end? It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I'm, more and more. Room. I'm very confused about the floor plan right now because it just it's like a square, right? It is. It's a square, but. Yeah. If you think of it yeah. as this is the the. Uh, the great room and the entrance, and everything yeah, sort of is off of it. It's the same on all oh, the floors. Oh, okay. we came in through here and then turned. Yeah. Huh. Oh, wow. but I've skipped the bedroom. Oh. So we're going to create a wallpaper. I remember you said this. Yeah. But then we're going to create a wallpaper. 
don't know. I don't know whether they survive that. Um, but it's, and we're, we're wondering what the colors were. We're hoping the back gives us a bit of an idea what the original colors were. I don't know. Yes, you do. He's right. Here. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, um, you know, a few more things that we got from the lady down the way. You know, this wardrobe, which I'm absolutely in love with. Because it's just enormous. And, and check this out. So what we what I ended up doing, because this switch operates that plug, I stuck just LED oh, awesome leg and that oh. so it's a bit of you know hey yeah. Oh, it's yeah. stunning. I love this. This was on an Instagram reel, right? Yeah. Like so we bought that in Um the chest right here. Yeah, the chest came from uh Berkiak where we're going tomorrow. Did you hear that plan? I heard Stephanie mention it. Yeah, like all of us I are going to Berkiak to. tomorrow, so. Berkiak is... It's actually... Oh, that style. Oh, my God. Um, what do we need? These are... Yeah. Yeah. These are wonderful. Would you like sparkling? Carolina, you have yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. 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 Cheers. I'm, I have one, actually. Yes. <laughs> So the lovely Sarah and Steve put Carolina and I in Le Deux Terrasses, which I absolutely love the name of because it truly is two terraces. And it's just been absolutely incredible to stay here. It's the most light, airy room. All the furnishings are beautiful. The bed was divine. And the best part is this view. It's these big, beautiful windows. And you step out, and there's this enormous terrace. And then you look out and you see the rest of the chateau next to you. And the beautiful roofs. And then some of their forests and fields, their John Deere. And my favorite part is the cemetery, which is just so magical to have just above their chateau. I think it just reminds me of the cycle of life and how many people have lived here. It's so cool. And then, turn around and just there is the boulangerie right here and then the mairie is down there so they're truly right next to the town which we're so so envious of that they can just pop into town for a croissant and then back to the room <clears throat> just feel like a princess in here then as you see there's the second terrace it's just beautiful. <gasps> Dexter, what are you doing? Hello. And then you have an even better view of the town and the rest of the chateau. We're also really impressed by this beautiful stonework and the beautiful color of these shutters. Since we've been exploring a lot of shutter colors, and this one's really, really nice how gray it is. And it goes so well with the red and the stone. Wow, I wish we could stay forever. So lovely. So yes, there's this very cool headboard that Steve made that can separate or unite based on double or single occupancy, which I think we might have to try and work out how to do that at Puy Vidal. And then a lovely bathroom. Really lovely, really clean really comfortable. I love it. Ah, Penelope. Good morning. How did you sleep? Very well, but I stayed up pretty late, so I was like very cold when I finally <laughs> got in bed. Oh yeah, I was cold too. We yeah, were up we by a bonfire. for a long time. Nice. Uh, so it took me a while to warm up, but once I was warm, it was great. <laughs> Now we're gonna go downstairs, have a little coffee, and go to a brocante mm. in Versillac, yes. which is very fun. Our first time brocante shopping with other chateau owners. 
I smell bacon. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah, let's go. We're late. All right. I'll meet you down there. It's just so special here. And then I love this massive, massive entrance. It all roads lead to the center of the chateau. And it just makes it feel so, so different from our U shape. It's just such a centralized experience. It feels really lovely because I can hear other guests downstairs having breakfast and it feels very communal and lovely. Hello, good morning. Look at this incredible spread. Good morning. Oh my God. Good morning. Good morning. Just been doing a little tour. <laughs> This is our first time staying at another chateau since we moved into Puyvidal and it's been the best experience to just get away a little bit and to see a chateau from from a guest perspective and it's just it's the best gift Sarah and Steve could have given us to just take a little break get away and experience that magical feeling of arriving to a chateau and seeing it for the first time it's just so special and you forget what that's like when you look around and you see the endless to-do list around you. Here I just see beauty, the beauty of nature, the beauty of the chateau. It just feels so special and it's really reminded us all of why we're here and how, how magical these buildings are. So thank you Sarah and Steve. Heading out to the Brocon. Brocon, here we come. We're descending upon Vertillac. So good. How has our stay been? Excellent. I just told Sarah we will be back shortly. <laughs> Very soon. Yes. And then she said, invite likewise. ourselves over. She said, likewise. When do we get to go back to? Oh, yeah. Back? We want to have the whole group over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The whole group. Well, we want to do it right this time. We were very unprepared yeah. last time. Yes, yeah, we were. So we're working really hard to get all the rooms yeah. up and functioning. And then everyone's going home, and I'm very sad. But first, the bro conting. Yeah. Bro -conting. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Best thing ever on a uh, Sunday. You guys all know where you're going? No. We're no. GPS, GPS knows where you're going? Yes. Yeah. 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 We go to Bertillac. Yeah. Just find the town. And you can't miss you all can't the miss yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Actually, we're just going to like for the ambiance. We're not going to buy anything. Right? No, 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 no. Anybody here? Are no, you guys no, actually no ordering your van to come down? <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance. That's that's the backup plan. <laughs> Our car looks like that. It's full. <laughs> all right, let's go. Off to the go races. Home. All right. Yes. Bertillac, we're here. We're here. Look at the bird. Oh, that's really cool. It's so that's really beautiful. Cool. Steve find some guide. nice stuff. Good fun stuff, yeah. yeah. Particularly the alcohol ads. I had your help, Sarah, in picking out a sewing machine. It's like a starter one, something simple okay. to learn. So are you like, do you want to go vintage or do you want electrical? That'd be fun. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe something easy. Yeah, like what do you modern? Do we want to make projects. like a cape, like a velvet cape. Something, okay. you know, yeah. nothing crazy. My mom knows how to sew, but we're not really. Okay, proficient. so the real question is, if you, if you want piping mm -hmm. on your cape, mm -hmm. then what you're going to need is um, probably an electrical one, or at least something that can do like a piping foot. Mm -hmm. So I love my vintage treadle machine, but mm -hmm. it's I can get different feet for it, but it's a little bit more difficult mm -hmm. because of the age. Mm -hmm. So. Um, if you want to be able to do details like that, you're going to need to go to get something. Yeah. But you're probably going to want to get a machine that's like pre-1970 mm. because those are fun to learn on. They also run forever and you can beat the heck out of them and they're very repairable. Oh, Whereas okay. anything after that's slightly less repairable. Oh. So you can either like spend the big bucks on the new things that yeah. are 
when they break they're going to be basically junk or you can spend less on an older model and refinish it so yeah the choice seems Good obvious <laughs> that not sounds that I, amazing okay i totally love revamping vintage machines or anything that's not my hobby oh my god yeah. that would be <laughs> well so we have found these delightful little lamps for the mighty price of 10 euro but um because i am a genius um <laughs> I keep a little sample oh, of my that's so curtains smart. in my little notebook so that I can so be smart. like, does that work? Yes, that totally works. That's gorgeous. So that's my top tip is carry your curtains with you at all times. Yeah. Just bring the whole chateau with you. <laughs> it's true. I find this slightly Wood more portable, samples. but you know, you do you. <laughs> no, we have that problem. We're yeah. like pulling up photos all the time. That's yeah. much yeah. smarter. What's the color? What's the color? Yeah. Which is never quite right depending on the light, right? Isn't it just yeah. beautiful? It looks like a shade. Yeah. It's really pretty. Yeah. Oh, Love really this have What did you find? We parked right next to this vendor that was hiding these. There's four of them and we just got them for 50 euros and we're super excited because we first of all we can find a million places in the chateau to put these but yes um we've been looking for patterns uh what do you call these uh it's um um uh, illuminated manuscript a manuscript uh and we just want to take this design and put it all over some of our branding and our website and we can scan just, it you're we right we can scan it it's just right. gonna be stunning so if i could sh they're kind of heavy I can't show the rest, but let me put them yes. back. Look at this. These are stunning. Look at this pattern. Look at this. Oh my God. We want to, you, you have to pay like $150 to get a license it's for true. this, to use this uh, off of Shutterstock or something. It's true. So. And we're gonna, we can just lift them. Lift, lift them they're from They're also here. just absolutely beautiful. They're stunning. Somewhere. Yeah. They're yeah, just yeah. posters, but like they're reprints, but they're just beautiful. There are, if you look at them, they're really and the frames beautiful are lovely, reprints. And they're yeah. they have hooks. They're ready to go. Absolutely so, lovely. Good bargain, good deal. We're killing it today. We, yeah. have, to go, we have to go race uh, Stephanie and Philip and the rest of the game. <laughs> Make sure we, we hunt. Don't lose all the good stuff. Yeah, don't lose all the good all stuff right. to them. All right. Kidding. There's more than enough for everyone. Uh, there's so much great stuff here. And everyone it's is beautiful. also looking for some, like, something very, different. Yeah, very yeah. different items for their chateau. Yeah, because we don't have a lot of these little beautiful decorative things, yeah. whereas Sarah and Steve are looking for bed crowns. We're looking for lamps on this trip, and we've left with a bunch of different We haven't different found a single items. lamp. We haven't found a different, uh, yeah, a single lamp. But um, everyone else is looking for chairs and, and things to decorate their rooms mm. and bedrooms. So mm. it's super exciting. Here we go. Okay. Muniva. So great. Yeah, it does look painted, not painted on. So yeah. That's I was gorgeous. in love with the castle. It has the authenticity. Colors are yeah. Yeah, and then look at this. And the, oh, oh, brilliant. Yes. Oh, that is that really, is, really That is very chateau. Well done. Oh, yeah. And we bought some really cheap illuminated manuscripts, um, like musical sheets, yeah. framed. Nice. Super pretty. Yeah. So that can all go together. Brilliant. Cheap one and the nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> the cheap one and the nice one. And that's the thing. a big stop to do here to charge the car. Yeah. The pains of an electric car. We had to plan out for a 178 kilometer journey. One stop. Um, we just got up a percent. Yay, here we go. Good job, everyone. Okay. Let's do that one. this drive it's so pretty we are about to drive into the magical driveway of chateau de la lande my god we're here it's beautiful do you think we could pull up wherever oh, yeah is? yeah i would go in there oh my god oh my god i don't know why my phone is just like shutting down it's like no vlogging too much vlogging in this chateau maybe um Wow. Maybe your memory's really low, Julia. Remember? 
Absolutely magical. I, I am at Lalonde after three years. Um, we were here in 2019 and we were just reminiscing about how when we were here, it was really like the, uh, the, the moment that made us just fully go all in on the idea of coming to France someday. And now looking back on it, I, I get emotional, but it's been three years and we're here. We're here. It's, I don't know, it's, it's surreal. This fountain being on is so beautiful. I love the sound of it. it makes me really want to put a fountain in. Wow. Hello. We are thrilled to be at the incredible Chateau de la Lande again. And it, it just feels like full circle today because I have been a huge fan and follower of the Chateau Diaries for several years and Carolina and I came to visit as a bed and breakfast guest in 2019 and that was kind of at the time that we were starting to think of a different life and something outside our old jobs and living in New York and then COVID hit and we weren't able to come back which we had really really wanted to do to volunteer and help Stephanie with videos and lend a hand any way we could just to experience this magical place and so we still have this kind of unmet desire to just be a volunteer here and see how life works here because there's something special in the water here and then a year and a half later, we were incredibly lucky to have just messaged Stephanie out of the blue and she magically remembered us and we asked her if she could possibly go see Chateau de Puy Vidal for us. And come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to destroy your video. Not <laughs> at all. <laughs> and she she, um, because we were stuck in the US and we could not come and we were very worried it was going to sell, which it might have had she not come and see it for us. And she and Philip and Davey were magnificent enough to drive all the way there, do a six hour visit and then drive all the way back and then give us a full report. And based on that report, we actually bought the Chateau. It feels like all our fantasies and love of France and Chateau de la Lande are kind of merging with our new life here and our new love of our chateau and all of the beautiful things we would like to create there. So it's just really, really special. And we feel very honored to be invited and welcomed into the community here because it feels like really incredible people who all come together here. And this is a very special thing. They knocked us off our feet today by pulling out this collection that Philip had sourced from eBay and different sites of old postcards of Puy Vidal. And these are literally filled out. This one is just has numbers. This is a beautiful woman at the turn of the century posing in front of the courtyard door. And they're actually real postcards that were mailed and then they are being sold now. And Philip snapped them all up and to give us this incredible, incredible gift. And this one is his favorite because it's actually to another chateau, Chateau de, de la Perrière. And it's from some sender and she clearly bought this, this postcard of Puy Vidal, perhaps because she had stayed there, or she had seen it, I'm, I'm not sure what. And we've also just never seen these images anywhere on the internet. It just, it's just totally new, unseen views of our chateau from over a hundred years ago. So it was incredibly, incredibly touching. We thank you so much, Stephanie and Philip. And we're going to put this in a very, very special place in the chateau. Awesome. So cocktail time? Cocktail time. I need to change. Look at this incredible, incredible room. It's 
looking around taking a million and one notes for Pui Bi Da. Just how everything goes together. And Stephanie's biggest, biggest talent is just arranging things so beautifully. Oh, so that you just feel like you've stepped into a fairy tale. There's there's just all these beautiful touches of flowers and drinks and just everything. It's just magnificent. Ready? Ready. You look beautiful. Thank you. Let's Thank go. You. Um, uh, nerdy fact here, this little round tower has just been plastered and I'm obsessed with it. It's so cool. I'm obsessed how clean it looks. <laughs> I know, it does look really clean it and looks beautiful. beautiful. But also like this stuccoiness is very important. Oh, it's so satisfying to see something like yeah. nicely done yeah. at a chateau. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. Off we go. Cocktail time. Here's Penelope. Even with your own chateau? Yeah. Amazing. Every chateau is different. The little wand effect. 